Good morning. Today we celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass this morning is generously underwritten by the parishioners of St. Peter's Parish. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed by the blood of Christ our King. Heirs of salvation, trusting his promise, faithful in now God's praise we sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, praise we praise you, we bless you, bless you we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shuman, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, can something be done for her? His servant, Jahazi, answered, yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. 
through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple. Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. At first glance, it might uh, seem as though what Jesus says at the beginning of today's gospel is actually quite simple uh, and perhaps self-explanatory. Whoever loves father and mo or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Of course, if you don't love Jesus above everyone and everything else, how can you say that he's the top priority uh, on your list. Um, in one sense, it sounds fairly simple. But if we take a moment, or a few, to examine how uh, much this statement can kind of challenge us uh, in our own lives today, 
it might not seem as simple, right? Of course, Jesus says this to challenge us. Is he saying that we cannot love our mother or father or son or daughter or brother or friend? No, of course not. One of the commandments is to honor your father and mother. So what does Jesus mean here by telling us, you know, whoever loves uh, anyone else you know, more than me is not worthy of me? Well, um, some practical things that we could consider. Certainly, uh, any time we've found ourselves perhaps attending or playing sports on, instead of going to Mass on Sunday, any time we find ourselves uh, perhaps afraid to pray in public, any time perhaps we find ourselves afraid uh, to speak the truth, valuing more the esteem of others, be it friends or co-workers or family, be it any time we find ourselves uh, afraid or unwilling to challenge or at least invite back family members or friends who are living contrary to the faith. Hmm. In all of these moments, can we say that we love Jesus more than anyone or anything? Well, no. But the good news is uh, the Lord always keeps the door open for us uh, to turn back, and, and whenever we fall, he invites us back. Uh, whenever we don't do a perfect job at uh, living his commands, he always leaves the door open for us to come back. And we certainly can't do it on our own. We need the power, the grace of the sacraments to make that happen, especially confession and the Eucharist, but certainly all of the sacraments, because they give us the strength to do exactly what Jesus challenges us, challenges us to do in the gospel, to love him above everyone and everything. Not that we have to hate those other people or other things, certainly not, but to love God above all certainly requires our whole being. And we do pray then that we rely on his strength and not solely our own, so that we, what Jesus says may also be said of us that whoever, uh, whoever follows him completely will receive his reward. God bless you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Turning to the Lord, we lift up to him our petitions. That God will strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will bless our nation as we prepare to celebrate Independence Day this week and keep us always thankful for the gift of freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing power of God will bring wholeness in body, mind, and spirit to the sick and to the suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died will know the joy and peace of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we lift these prayers to you, and we ask you to grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise the Lord. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Osana in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Sana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. History of Mortem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confitemur, done. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, kingdom, power, and the glory, the glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On your stay. Sweet holy peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, sweet holy peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, sweet holy peccata mundi, dona nobis pa. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are they whose hunger only holds Thank you for joining us today. If you would like to make a gift to support this ministry, please visit our website at mansfieldstpeters.org. May God bless you. Have a good week.